All right, we're going to move right along to Dave Walwick. <laughs> all right, Dave Walwick, tell me all about you here. My friend, this guy. Hello. He doesn't need an introduction. Dave Warwick doesn't need an introduction. Hello, great to be here. I have a beautiful view up here. I see a lot of love, a lot of people that are compassionate, that care more than others. And, uh, you know, we know that, like Einstein said, in the, the, the survival of the human race hinges on uh, gravitating towards a vegetarian diet. So, in the future, we will all be vegan if we're here. And if you think about a, a vegan world, that means cities will be vegan. New York City will be vegan. Think of that. New York City vegan. You know what it'll look like? Take a look around you at everyone here. These are the people you're going to run into on the streets, the people that care and, and care enough to, to do something about their lifestyle to change. And these are the beautiful people in the world. Take a look around. This is the future. This is a vegan world right around you. And from where I'm looking, it's beautiful. So thank you. And thank you for staying. Uh, some of you have been here all day. We're going on 4 o'clock. You marched since 11. That, that's devotion right there. Uh, there's some people out there that are not vegan. And I cannot waste this time up here preaching to the choir about uh, veganism to people that are already vegan. So I'm going to change my tune a little bit. And I need to talk to meat eaters. Some call them corpse munchers. <laughs> uh, how many corpse munchers out there? Raise your hand. <laughs> oh, we've got one. Someone admitted it. When you, when, you, when you phrase it like that, though, people don't want to admit it, and they won't raise their hand. You know. How many corpse munchers out there? You see people. But you say, how many vegans are out there? Well, we raised our hands. Yeah, yeah. And that's the cool thing. We're proud of who we are, and that's what the Veggie Pride Parade is all about. Being proud about who we are and sharing what we know about the world. No one told me about veganism. I figured it out on my own. But I never want to be guilty of hiding something that's going on. And one of the biggest things that's going on is the suffering that we do to cows. It's terrible what's going on in factory farms to dairy cows. Uh, for those of you that don't know about cows and, and where we get milk and cheese, when a, when a cow uh, is deemed a dairy queen and she's going to be giving milk the rest of her life, they have to get her pregnant, otherwise she won't give milk. And to get her pregnant, they have to mechanically rape the cow. Now Mrs. Cow is only a child, she's only two or three. That's child rape. That's, that's bad. To be a part of that is evil. And if you drink milk and uh, eat cheese, you're participating in the promotion of evil by creating the demand for those things. And so you really have to look at what's going on with cows. And after the cow gives birth, after she's mechanically raped, they steal her baby from her. And cows are very loving creatures. They're herbivores. 